Hey, hey, Melissa Wick here. This yoga class comes via request from a friend who is a professional beach volleyball player. He asked for a video that is great to do at the end of the day to wind down, to really stretch and get into the body and open up before bed. And just remember, we're all athletes, so this video is great for everybody. Get into something comfortable and let's get started. Things you will need for this yoga practice. You'll need a strap. If you don't have a strap, you can use a belt, a tie, a scarf, or a towel. Anything that you can wrap your foot through and hang on to with your hands. You may or may not need a pillow for the first shape we'll be taking for the support for your head. If you have two blocks, that would be great. You can use two blocks for the first shape we're gonna start with. So if you have the blocks, you would just take the pillow aside, you don't need that. One block on the highest setting to start at the back where your head will go. The second block will be on the second setting. So you have three settings, one, two, and three. Vertically, just a few inches in front. And you would take your sit bones, have them connected to the ground. My hand comes to the back of my heart and I use that as my guide to find the bottom of the first block. Align my spine, my shoulder blades will peel on either side. And then I'll find that second block, find a comfortable spot for my head here. I like to take my elbows onto the mat, give myself a little lift and gently squeeze the blades together, and realign. Now, once you're in the shape and you wanna go deeper, you feel you wanna go deeper safely without any pain, you can always take that block that's behind the head on a lower setting. But maybe start with the highest one just to settle in. You can have the feet touching, knees open, you can have the legs extended, feet wide with your knees into touch, so three different options there, and have your palms open. If you don't have blocks, that's okay. You can use a blanket or a towel again to fold it up in a long cylinder shape to the back of your mat. The thicker you make the blanket, the more intense the heart opening will be. And this is where you may or may not need a pillow for your head and your shoulder blades will come in between the blanket and the pillow. So I'll start in this shape here. Your strap could just be by your side. So you align the back of the heart, same principle, sit bones stay down and feel the blades come down on the other side. You'll know you'll need a pillow if you find that your chin is higher than your forehead here. You may need a little bit of support for the neck. So find your starting shape. Extend your arms out and open, palms face up. Same options for the feet. Soles of the feet can touch, knees open for more hip opener. Then you can start to close the eyes. And take a big breath in through your nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Another one like that, breathe in. Let it go through the mouth. Gently close the lips and let your breath be natural here. Just give yourself permission here to fully settle in to your chosen shape. With every natural exhale, let go of any lingering tension that you may be holding on to anywhere in the body. And as we begin here in this heart opening, chest opening shape, trust in the support of your props behind you, letting your weight go. And then we'll start to take five deep conscious breaths in and out through the nose. And if you feel stuffy, you can breathe through the mouth. Empty out the air out of the mouth. And then we'll breathe in through the nose. Breathe in, let your belly expand. Exhale through the nose, all the air comes out. Again, fill up. 
Let it all go. Inhale in. Feel your whole body expand. And exhale all the air out. Two more like that. Breathe in. Breathe it out. Last one. Big breath in. Big breath out. Return to the natural cadence of your breath. And just notice how five deep conscious breaths can start to create a shift within you. And take the next several moments here to just enjoy the shape, staying close to your breath. And then from here, whatever shape you're in, if your knees are open, you can start to take the hands and draw the knees close together. And there's no rush to come out of the shape. So any way that feels instinctual or natural to you to come out, you can roll to one side. We just wanna lift ourselves up enough to remove the props that are behind us. So take them off to the side, lay back down flat on your back and have your strap within arm's reach just close by. And then we'll take the knees in towards the chest, interlacing the fingers and just gently rock from side to side, massage the low back, keep the back of the neck lengthened. We'll take each palm onto each kneecap. So the palm of your hand onto the top of your knees, fingers facing away and you'll almost like catch the knees, let your arms extend while still holding on. Take a breath in, breath out. Enjoy that lengthening in the spine, the low back. And from here, we'll start to draw the knees apart, away from each other, draw them in in a circular motion, back together. So away, apart, and in. And as you do this, see if you can really connect your mind to your body. Notice how it feels in your hip sockets here. If you feel any clicking, just notice, maybe ease off a little bit, breathe a little deeper. And then just reverse your direction. Keep the jaw relaxed. Finishing up your last circle here. And then we'll take both hands, interlace them around the right shin. Extend your left leg long, flex your feet. From here, inhale, create space. As you exhale, draw the right knee in closer to you. And keep that momentum. Inhale, create space. Exhale, deepen. Keep the hips level and grounded onto the ground, the floor. Take your left hand to your left hip bone, start to draw that right knee out to the right, any amount towards the right side body. Keep the feet flexed, breathe into your hips. Take your knee back to center, and then the left hand will come to the outside of the right thigh, cross that leg over to the left for a twist, right arm extends open out into a T, palm open. 
your head could stay center or if it's safe for your neck, you can look over to your right. So trying not to force this stretch, just allow your body to unfurl naturally using the breath. With every exhale, allow your right shoulder to get a little more heavy. Breathing into your spine, your shoulder, your hips. Slowly release, come back to center. We'll bend that left knee again, plant both feet on the ground, find your strap and take the strap to the ball of the right foot, so just below the toes. And start to extend the leg towards the ceiling. Find a comfortable grip on your strap where you can plug your shoulder blades down, relax them, lengthen the back of the neck. Start to draw your attention to the heel of your right foot and reach it towards the sky as your toes come towards the face. You can stay here with your left knee bent. If you want a little more, you can extend the left leg. Left foot is flexed, so keep it active. So your right femur bone is plugging in as you reach through that heel. Send your breath to the back of that right leg. Maybe you want to play with pulling on the right side of the strap a little bit. You might notice how that changes the sensation. And as you're here, just soften the muscles on your face, finding ease. You wanna find length in the leg rather than how deep you can pull the leg to your face. If you gotta lower your leg a little bit, that's great. Take two more deep breaths here. Good, take both straps into your left hand. Your right thumb's gonna press into your right hip crease as a reminder to stay down and away. Keep your right hip glued to the ground. Start to draw your right leg over to the left any amount. It might just be a few inches. Keep reaching through that right heel. Don't forget to breathe in and out through the nose. Use the breath to move through those layers of tension. Two more cycles of breath. Bring yourself back to center. Remove your strap just for a moment and take that right leg down beside the left, extend both legs and just notice the difference between right side body and left. Maybe right side feels a little longer or tinglier or heavier, just notice. And from here, we'll bend the left knee in towards the chest, interlace the fingers, flex both feet, back of the neck lengthened. Inhale, create space. Exhale, draw that left knee in. Both hips stay level and grounded. Inhale. Exhale, draw it in, keep that pace. Take your right hand to your right hip bone as a reminder to stay glued to the ground. Draw your left leg out to the left any amount towards the left side body, left underarm. Take your leg back to center, right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Cross that leg over to the right. 
and extend your left arm out into a T, palm open. Head can stay center or gaze comes over to the left. Unfurling naturally into the shape with every exhale, soften and get heavier. Good, come back to center and we'll place both feet flat on the mat. Find your strap again. We'll take it to the other side. So strap comes to the ball of the left foot, just below the toes. Find your grip, plug the shoulder blades down, lengthen the back of the neck by drawing the chin in slightly. Reach your heel towards the sky as your toes come towards the face. Hips stay level, so we're not hiking the hip up you can stay here, maybe you extend the right leg long, right heel of the foot grounds down. Take your attention to the back of the left leg, breathing in and out through the nose. And see if you can match the length of your inhales to the length of your exhales. Maybe you gently pull on the side, left side of the strap a little bit. Notice the sensations, the shifts. Two more cycles of breath. Both straps come into your right hand, left thumb to the left hip crease. Reminder to stay down and glued. Start to draw the left leg out towards the right any amount. Keep reaching through the heel. Bring it right back to the center. Take your strap off to the side. We won't need it again. And you can take the knees in towards you. Roll to one side, eventually making your way up onto all fours, onto tabletop. So you wanna have your wrists under the shoulders, fingers spread wide, knees hip width distance apart. We'll just move through a few cat cows to warm up the spine. So on the inhale, we'll drop the belly, lift the gaze, relax your shoulders. On the exhale, round and curl, nose towards your chest, push the floor away from you, puff up the upper back. Inhale takes you forward. Exhale, round and curl. One more inhale, extend. Exhale, push the floor away from you. Inhale to neutral, keep your hips stacked right over your knees and just walk the hands forward into a puppy stretch so your forehead and heart melt towards the ground. Doesn't matter if they touch or not. Keep a slight tone in the belly to protect your spine. Breathe into the front of the heart, the back, the sides. On your next inhale, take your hands to support you under your shoulders. We'll draw the legs completely together. Tuck your toes underneath. Sit your sit bones on your heels for this toe stretch. So if at any point it becomes too much overwhelming, you can always come out, 
sit on the tops of the feet and come back in. So you can stay with your hands on your lap or you can take the hands behind you, interlace them, start to draw the knuckles down and away, squeeze the blades together, energize the heart space in the chest. Big breath in, big breath out. Gently release your hands. Give yourself a couple shoulder rolls one way and the other way. Nice. Take your hands forward. Point the toes. Toes touch, knees wide. Sit back as you walk the hands forward into a child's pose. From here, we'll walk the hands all the way over to the top right corner of your mat. Let your left hand reach a little farther than your right. Root down through your left sit bone and breathe into the left lung. Good, and then take yourself through center and all the way over to the other side, left side. Right hand reaches a little farther than the left, ground down through that right sit bone. Breathe into the right side of the body. Come back to the middle and we'll take ourselves onto our stomach all the way down. So from here, we're going to extend the left arm out into a T, palm facing down. Make sure it's in line with your shoulder. Your left ear will come down. Right elbow is bent, so right palm is down. Start to roll onto your left side body. Now, if you ever feel sharp pain, you've gone too far, you really want to listen as this is a vulnerable shape. If this is enough for you, stay right here. If you have more space, you can bend that top right leg and plant the right foot behind you. Now eventually, if you have more space, you can always reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. Make sure you're listening to those nudges of what is safe for your body. Tune into your breath. And slowly, with so much care, release back to the center. We'll go to the other side. Right arm extends out in line with your shoulder, palm down, right ear down. Roll onto your right side body. And then find your edge. And gently take yourself back to your stomach. From here, we'll take our hands right by our chest, feet are hip width distance apart, elbows hug in, and we'll inhale, push into the palms, draw your pubic bone down towards the ground, squeeze the blades in, relax your shoulders, heart reaches forward and up. As you exhale, lower down. One more like that. Inhale, find that lift, tops the feet, press down. Exhale, lower. Next, inhale, just push through tabletop. And we'll come into a brief, brief down dog just to set us up for pigeon. Tuck your toes under, send your hips up and back. We'll take our right knee to the outside of the right wrist, your right ankle 
just towards the left does not need to be close to it. And we'll gently slide that left leg back a bit in space. Take a look, can you see your left leg? Is it in line with your left hip bone? Now here it's great to use a pillow or a block or a cushion to bring underneath the right glute so you're supported if there's a gap there. Once you feel settled here, you can take a breath in, lengthen the spine. Exhale, you can walk the hands forward. And here, if you can't come all the way quite down, you can stack your fists, rest your forehead on your fists. You can put a block underneath your forehead. The support is always nice because it allows you to relax a little more so you're not hanging out in space. Now we'll hold this one for about 10 breaths or so. And notice here, if you're transferring your attention anywhere else in the body, see if you can stay present with what is and use your breath to move through each layer. And if you find that your mind likes to wander, that's okay. Just gently but deliberately bring it right back here to your breath. And from here, we'll start to press our hands into the ground, lift your chest up. If you have support under your right glute, slide it out. Bring your right glute down to the ground, and then swing your left leg forward and around. Take the left foot to the outside of the right thigh. If you do this and both your sit bones are not on the ground, you can lift your hips up on a blanket or a pillow, or you can extend your right leg out long. You want to keep both sit bones down regardless of where you are. Your left arm comes behind you for support, like a kickstand. Right arm reaches up as you breathe in. As you exhale, you can either hug your left knee in and twist to the left, or you can hook your right tricep towards the left thigh there and twist over to the left. So your torso is stacked over your hips. Use your back hand to support you. As you breathe in, ease off on the twist. As you exhale, twist a little deeper to the left. So keep that rhythm. Slowly release, take both hands over to the right side for a counter stretch. And as smoothly as you can, make your way back to down dog to set us up for the other side. We'll take the left knee to the outside of the left wrist, right ankle towards the right wrist. Slide that right leg back, and then take a look. Is your right leg in line with your right hip bone? Notice if your right foot is sickling in, you want to have the toes pointing straight back. If you have a gap here, you can take a blanket or a block or a pillow to fill that space. First, we'll get tall. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, find your sleeping pigeon. So you can stay on the forearms. You can wing out the elbows and fold. Maybe you stack your fists or use a block. Connect to your breath, move through the tension. Coming into your deep resting place,
taking about 10 breaths here. Good, and then we'll start to lift ourselves up, bring your hands down to the ground, take your props out. Left sit bone comes down, gently take your right leg forward and find that seated twist. So right foot comes to the outside of the left thigh. Notice here, are both sit bones connected? Maybe you need to extend the left leg out long or lift your hips up. Right arm comes behind you for support. Inhale, left arm rises. Exhale, hug or hook your left arm twisting over to the right. As you inhale, ease off. As you exhale, find a deeper twist. Keep that rhythm. Slowly unwind, take both hands over to the left for a counter stretch. And we'll slowly roll ourselves down onto our backs. Maybe you gotta take yourself forward a bit, coming all the way down. We'll come into a gentle inversion to finish off the practice. Happy baby. So arms come onto the inside, knees on the outside, flex your feet. Grab a hold of your shins or your ankles or the outer edges of your feet. Try not to compromise by lifting the shoulders. You want to keep them relaxed. If you got to have a grip a little more to the calves, that's great. So your ankles are in line with the knees as if you're squatting against the ceiling. Let your tailbone be heavy to the mat. Keep the back of the neck lengthened. Tune into your breath. release take the knees in towards you extend your legs up towards the ceiling take your arms up towards the ceiling and just give yourself a little shake letting go of any residual tension leftover energy and then when you're ready you can extend your legs out long and wide your palms can flip open make any adjustments to get comfortable Use whatever props you like for Shavasana, your final resting shape. And there is nothing left for you to do but to receive your practice. Take a breath in through your nose. Let it all out through the mouth. Closing your eyes. Take this time to go inward and fully, fully surrender. And if you can, try to stay here for at least five minutes to really reap the benefits. And imagine here, you're so relaxed that you can't tell the difference between where your body ends and where the ground begins.
Namaste.